modern slavery backlog could be eradicated in two years. I'm going to read into this more from the BBC, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with an article from the BBC with the headline that modern slavery backlog could be eradicated within two years. A backlog of thousands of modern slavery cases could be eliminated in two, within the two years, the government has stated. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share it across social media so others are notified of this video. Um, any kind of modern slavery is an abomination. I think it's, it's, it's abominable. But even in 2024, in the United Kingdom, which is supposedly supposed to be one of the seventh, uh, one of the most, one of the seventh, one of the wealthiest countries in the world, supposedly, and we have an issue with modern slavery. There is no doubt that over the last 14 years, that uh, employment rights and people's rights have been slowly being eroded. I also think that the the way that uh, migration and immigration that has been handled by the conservatives over the last 14 years have also played a hand in, in modern slavery as well not just obviously those um, here uh, the fun over the complexity of brexit i think it's also played a part as well what do i mean by that regan well when there's been there may have been there i'm sure there may have been cases where some europeans have had have not been able to go on had to go on the black market because they they couldn't get their their employment sorted out there have been cases obviously in the immigration where many have just fallen off the grid or into the black market because um, they've left their asylum hotel or whatnot and disappeared um, and uh, been picked up there i think that's also played a part and there's also the case of the most vulnerable in society with this cost of living crisis that plays a part into this over the as well that has played into the, uh, that i believe has played fundamentally into the modern slavery as well when people are desperate they will do anything and sometimes um sometimes it leads them into uh, traps them into a world that they can't get themselves out and if they're not careful when it comes to, when it comes to how desperate people are for money unfortunately that is a reality where some people go to so there are lots of factors that have uh, that uh, have been a cause for the increase in modern slavery now whether or not the government can eradicate it in two years i don't think i don't expect them to completely eradicate it however i do expect them to significantly reduce it um jess phillips is without a shadow of a doubt a champion on this she has spoken passionately on so many occasions on the opposite benches about this and now she's in government i generally believe that she will fight tooth and nail to do everything in her power to eradicate modern slavery i generally believe that she has had so many cases put to her she has she has been championing this for a very long time for the protection and more for women's rights i generally believe uh that uh that she will be pushing this very very hard now whether or not the government are going to be pushed as hard as she will uh for it is another question but this is uh, but she is someone that is not going to sit on the sit and lie down uh, while this continues i generally believe that she will crack on top of this so let's read a bit more into it you guys so the latest figures show more than twenty-three thousand suspected victims including children that's including children are still waiting for a decision from the home office regarding their status including a woman at a safe house in sussex and a man paid 10 pound a day some have already set up to four years uh set, already spent up to four years in a safe house according to the independent anti-slavery commissioner who welcomed the ambitious plans but called for more prosecutions safeguarding minister jess phillips mp announced on friday that she would recruit 200 extra staff to eliminate the backlog adding the issue was one of her top priorities the average rate for a conclusive decision is more than 500 days according to government figures 500 days is just not good enough in 2023, there was a record high of 16,966 potential victims referrals to the National Referral Mechanism across England and Wales. Modern slavery is an illegal exploitation of people for personal or commercial gain, where victims are forced into work for little or no play, including sex work and criminal activity. 
Last year, a quarter of all referrals were people from the UK, closely followed by Albanians, and a third were Vietnamese. Yeah, this is what I said about uh, not just obviously people here, but obviously those who have come here uh, for a better way of life, and they found themselves into this into this uh, into this dark world. The minister wouldn't confirm how much the recruitment would cost, but said the money had been reallocated re from existing budgets, including the former Conservative government's scrap Rwanda plan. The new employees are expected to join the 650 existing Home Office staff processing cases in early 2025. In an interview with the BBC Safeguard, Minister Phillips has pledged to reform the modern slavery system and increase the number of prosecutions. This government will use every lever at its disposal to support them victims while we pursue those who carelessly profit from their trauma and misery, she said. Ella Leons, the anti-independent anti-slavery commissioner, and survi said survivors have waited far too long to receive the support that they deserve for the reconciliation for what uh, for what they are victims of modern slavery. Providing more caseworkers to speed up decision making is a welcome step in the right direction, she said. But more must be done to make sure victims of modern slavery are protected and that perpetrators of this crime are prosecuted, she added. I will just say this as well. Like, I'm all happy. I'm all for this. For me, I want to know what are we doing to stop it, to stop it from happening in the first place. What actions are we going? Are the government going to take to ensure that they are stopping it happening in the first place? Not just helping those who are already victims, but to stop people becoming victims. What actions are we doing to minimise those? I think that's a question worth asking. That's why government strategies need to, to make tackle modern slavery a priority and policy should be informed through listening to survivors' voices and experiences, she said. Yeah, there needs to be a government strategy. What, what I wanna, want the strategy to be about stopping before it even happens, not just obviously helping those who have been victims who are in those situations, but trying to stop it in the first place as well. This is suspect that there are around 120,000 more people currently being exploited in every community across the country. The number of referrals of suspected victims to police forces in England and Wales has increased by nearly 70% in the last five years. Norina came to Brazil, uh, came to the UK from Brazil and started working with four relatives. She was made to sleep on the kitchen floor on the mattress with three children and she was, uh, she was forced to care for. She said she would cook and clean and look after the children 24 hours a day. Before that, she was made to work in lots of different places doing different jobs. I started working 24 hours without payment. I was still paying back the money that they lent me, but I was not receiving anything else. When the situation totally affected my mental health, I couldn't handle it anymore. I tried to speak to my family and ask for help, but they told me that I would have to pay them. Her family kicked her out of her home and she was living on the streets before being taken to a safe house in Sussex by the Salvation Army. That's horrible. came to the UK and worked with her relatives and got slave labour at modern slavery this is just one case remember guys Daniel was originally from the Baltic States earned £10 a day on a construction site where she, he was made to work up to 12 hours a day he worked on sites across the UK and was forced to do it for more than 5 years 5 years he said there was no contract. They didn't pay what they promised to pay. They used to psychologically abuse us, uh, but sometimes it was physical force too. He said he had to sleep with it in an attic, which was humiliating. This is from the Home Office Day. As slavery cases have been rising, the annual referrals to the Modern Slavery National Referral Mechanism by investigating police forces. <clears throat> Select the police force below to see how many cases... So this is obviously the referrals here. So in 2018, 6,973. 10,000 more s roughly since then. Oh my god. I'm afraid to click this Northern Ireland. Kent Police. Kent Police 862 this year. Cheshire Police. Just clicking a couple just to see some of the numbers. Bedfordshire have cracked down on it from the looks of it from last year. That looks like a good sign. That's British Transport Police, City of London. It's just, oh dear, Devon and Cornwall had a massive increase last year. But but, but by the way, yeah, you have to also have to bear in mind when you when we're looking at these numbers, guys. Yeah, is that these are the, these are only what's been reported and what they've recorded. So 
there's a there's obviously a lot that could be happening that we don't know about as well so we also have to bear that in mind so it's a really important thing to to under, to take into the context of those numbers <coughs> The Salvation Army, which provides support from adult survivors of modern slavery, welcomed today's announcement, but added that the record numbers of people have ha are now turning down specialist help. The organization claimed recent changes to the law conflicting modern slavery with immigration has made victims fearful they'll be uh, persecuted and depor deported. This is another issue as well. See, you have some people, like I said, who um, who are not British, who've come to the UK and whatnot, wanting a better life and everything, and found themselves out, found themselves, uh, and somehow gone from being in the asylum system to ended up being in, in the modern slavery, in the modern slavery market, and fearful that if they come out to who they are, they'll find themselves um, deported. You know, they don't, and they don't want to be deported because of recent changes to the law which is t completely understandable for them so you will have some people who will who will stay in this in this in this in this modern slavery because they don't want to get deported because they'll be prosecuted because they're there because some of them will be in this situation because they have no because they don't they've got no other choice Mayor Kathy Bregman, Director of Anti-Trafficking and Modern Slavery, said the National and Borders, uh, Nationality and Borders Act 2022 and the Illegal Migration Act 2023 have created a, a climate of fear where people who have experienced modern slavery cannot trust what they will be treated as victims of crime and given the support they need. And you can call the UK Modern Slavery and Exploitation Helpline on 08000 or file a report online here. There'll be a link for this in the description if anybody wants to use it there, but the number is also there if you're in the, the UK as well. Um, I, I generally hope that, uh, I, you know, like I said about Jess Phillips, I hope they do get on top of this and they do eradicate it. And like I said, the task, the, the, the strategy force that I, I hope they does stop it from happening in the first place. And obviously, immigration has, has a, a, is, is tied into this a lot, uh, to some of this as well. You have to take that context into this as well because obviously some people They've gone into that cycle because because they want to make money, um, and and there's no legal way for them to make money, uh, for them to work while their asylum claim is being processed as well. So there's also that to have to take into a factor as well. So some of them end up into this modern slavery, and then they can't get themselves out of it as well. And um, obviously, if they end up being exposed, they could be prosecuted because they'll be basically be accused of, well, hey, you've 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 gone out of the asylum system, and you, here you are working illegally. We're going to deport you or they've been pushed against it against their will there's all sorts of factors around this and just have to uh around this as well so it's going to be a very difficult challenge and one that's going to take time to deal with but i right now i think labor are much better better we're much better organized to this than the conservatives because the conservatives have done a bugger all and you can see by the numbers there that the conservatives have let it get worse and worse and worse and we just clicked a bunch of them just to see some of the numbers there and um, obviously time will tell. It will take time to see if they can do this. But, the, you know, two years would be a long time. We'll see We'll see where, where modern slavery is in a few years' time then, won't we? What do you guys think? What do you guys make of the plans that Jess Phillips and the Labour government have for eradicating modern slavery? Do you think, yeah, that they will make an impact? Do you think they will reduce the numbers? Let me know your thoughts and more down in the comments section below. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share it across social media so others are notified of this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing because it really does help support the channel. If you want to go one step further and financially support me in the work that I do here on this channel, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p, or you can join me on Rumble or Patreon for exclusive content on those platforms. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.